This is Miriam, and you're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton. You know what I got? I got a picture of his face with the little blue pillow on it. The sleep face. And we're in, we're in Chicago. <laughs> Are they already in Chicago? This is the one and only Leo Biaz. Hey, Leo. I'm excited to be back, my man. Uh, it was nine days in Vegas. We got stuck in the desert, and we had a little hangover remix out there, man. Um, I wore a wig to school once, and they said no headgear will. <laughs> um, How did, the, did spider that, Was it tights. obvious that it was a wig? Uh, yeah. Oh, okay. I was. I was, was having a fun. Wig. <laughs> See, this is exactly why we have them on the show, and this is what makes them fun. You're listening to KXVS, the voice of Stockton, 92.1 FM. Hello, welcome to Chef Tobias Cooks, here where we have kitchen conversations with professional chefs, cooks, home cooks, bakers, oh, and people that just can't cook. So join us every week for our kitchen conversations and learn a thing or two. And I don't burn nothing in my kitchen. KXBS 92.1 KXBS. KXBS. This broadcast will start in 60 seconds. This broadcast will start in 45 seconds. This broadcast will start in 30 seconds. This broadcast will start in 15 seconds. This broadcast will start in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, Two, one. The Voice of Stockton. For more information on The Voice of Stockton, go to thevoiceofstockton.org. The views and opinions expressed in the following program do not necessarily reflect those of KXVS, The Voice of Stockton, or its parents, affiliates, management, and staff. Da 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 da, sha di da do da 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 da, sha da ba da di da 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 da, sha da la da di da do da da da, sha da ba da di da 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 da, sha da ba da bi da do da 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 da, sha da ba da bi da 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 da, ee sha da ba da di da, sha tu ba is good. And welcome to Kitchen Conversations with the one and only Chef Tobias Cooks. Chef, take it away. Hello, hello. Good morning, Central Valley. Oh, can we see me? Yeah. Oh. Yeah, hold on one second. All right. Hi, everyone. Hello, hello. They can see you now. <laughs> no, I got the uh, movie lights on, yeah, right? All yeah. the lights on. It's all, ooh. Hello, hello, how's everyone doing this morning? Chef Tobias Cooks here with Kitchen Conversation. Yes, this morning with Chef Tobias Cooks, Kitchen Conversation here on The Voice of Stockton, coming to you live. Yes, so in case you're wondering what we're doing today, you're seeing like, is this crackers? <laughs> it look like crackers. <laughs> is it graham crackers? No, actually, it's flat, it's flat bread. Um, I was able to get some flat bread um, earlier today. And I said, hey, why not do flatbread? It's hot outside, right? Mm -hmm. Kids are back in school. Let's do something easy. If it was a Friday, we'd call it Flatbread Friday. It's <laughs> Thursday. <laughs> cool. So what can we rhyme it with? Flatbread Thursday. I don't know. Throwback flatbread? I don't know. There you go. I, I think I like that one, yeah. right? Yeah. Okay. All right. So we're gonna be, I'm going to be with you real, real short today. I understand it's a lot going on today. A lot going on for me as well. Also, I'm going to want to make a special announcement. Shout out today. At 2 p.m., there will be a back pack giveaway i'm gonna also put in on my facebook and the voice of stockton as well uh tell them where the uh, backpack uh so it's the third annual block party august 2nd 2018 that's today 2 to uh, 2 p.m to 6 p.m 
It will be at the University Park on Magnolia and California Street, so not that far away from uh, the station, actually. Yes. So it will be a block party giveaway. Chef Tobias will be there um, along with uh, a lot of community um, giving away free backpacks to school. So if you want to come on down today, it's from 2 to 6 p.m. Yeah. There will be food, raffles. And it's brought to you by the San Joaquin County Department of Child Support Services. Yes. So... 2 p.m. today. Come on down to the third block park. Black park. Uh, the what? Block <laughs> park. Block. Block party. There you go. <laughs> Say that. <laughs> okay, so I have a six-year-old, right? Yeah. So my life consists of blocks yeah. right now. Legos. Right? Yeah, Legos and the little spongy ones yeah. and and so look, hey, b- bear with Become, me. He's becoming an engineer. Yes, he is. Yes, he. You know what? He really is <laughs> building. Crazy stuff. <laughs> yeah, I, I don't even know. You're like, you're like what, what is that? I yeah, don't I don't even ask. Yeah. I'm just like the mom and say, oh my goodness, it's so beautiful. <laughs> All right, so let's go ahead and start with the flatbreads today. You know me, I love uh, uh, my little uh, bags here. <laughs> you know, when you work in the kitchen, you do a lot with pastry bags and stuff. But for me, if you're at home, pastry bags can get kind of expensive. Mm-hmm. So if you buy the Ziploc bags, it works just as well. Just easy. If you make your fresh sauces, um, oops, my camera's not looking. Oh, on. yeah, every, every eight seconds. Sorry. <laughs> if you make your fresh sauces, there you are. Uh, if you want to stir them, you know, a good way to do it is in the Ziploc bags. It's real great. Keeps it night fresh and easy. And also, you can do it like this, and it turns into like a little pastry bag. So that's why you always see Chef with a. Uh, her Ziploc bags. Work you know? smarter, not harder. Yeah, there you go. And um, I think I left my... Uh, you left something outside? I think it's my uh, paper towels. Okay, let me go get it. All right. This is live, right? <laughs> okay, so you want to start with pesto sauce. We're going to do our grilled one first. And that's our vegetable grill. Pesto sauce, there's lots of recipes on um, a line for a good pesto sauce. You can do your pesto sauce vegan. You can do it with kale. You could do it with spinach. Um, you don't. Thank you. You don't necessarily have to do it uh, with the basil. Uh, basil can be a little bit um, expensive, mm-hmm. especially if you purchase them in a lot of quantity. So what I like to do is I like to do the basil. I like to do the collard green, the spinach. And the kale. Mm. Mix it together. It has a beautiful flavor. A little lemon. um, Mm. A little Parmesan cheese. And also you could do it with pine nuts are very expensive. I do mine with almonds or walnuts. Uh, And you can always tailor it the way you want. And then at the end of it, you blend it with olive oil. So it's real easy. You know me and the blender. So you get the (laughs) blender... (laughs) <laughs> you put your greens in there, your spinach, your kale, your collard green, your basil, and then you put your Parmesan cheese in, you'll put your nuts in. I like to use almonds or walnuts, whichever ones I could get. Sometimes I like to toast them up a little bit first. Put them in there, a little salt, a little pepper, olive oil, blend it up real good, and you get a nice basil, and you'll get a really nice, beautiful uh, green color as well. All right, wherever my camera is, huh? Look, we're going to find a camera. Okay, so what I like to do with the first grill, you could get flat bread. You could do pita bread if you want. Preferably flat bread if you could find it. Or you could do naan bread. You know, you could do naan. The naan bread. Yeah? Yeah, as well. So any good flat bread, naan, pita, or if you could actually find the actual flat bread. And what you want to do is uh, you could toast it up a little bit or you could pile everything on top that I'll show you and then you could put it in the oven. But it's so hot right now. (laughs) So you know me and Chef, I love the grill. I'm the girl on the grill, for real, seriously. Okay, so our first one, we're gonna do, uh, if you can see, uh, see? And look look how that is. And I think I added a little garlic to this one as well. I did. So go ahead and just put that down. And uh, flatbreads, the good thing about flatbreads is that you can use any sauce base. You don't have to use um, a tomato sauce base. Uh, For this one, we are going to use the pesto 
sauce base. So see, I just spread it on just real nice. And see how you can see all the ingredients that from that. That smells good. Yes. And being that I used the mix, I used uh, the um, collard green, the spinach, the kale, um, garlic, parmesan cheese, walnut. You can see how nice uh, the green color is on that one. All right. So this one here, you can basically layer it up mm -hmm. any way that you want to. Um, I like to keep the vegetable one real nice and simple and easy. Uh, so for this one here, I did some roasted vegetables. Roasted vegetables are always nice. The roasted vegetables are nice. So here I have, Edward is uh, not here today, but I brought his flavor. I had did a grill. Oh. Oh. <laughs> I did a grilled portobello mushroom. Here we are. <laughs> here we are here. And you just grill it. See mm -hmm. how beautiful that is? Well, just beautiful. a little olive oil, a little salt and pepper. I'm gonna come over here onto my clear cutting board and I'm just gonna slice it real nice, just like this, just down the middle. I'm gonna slice it just like this here. And then I have some grilled vegetables here. So I grilled some bell peppers. Ooh. Bell peppers are really beautiful, especially with the color on the pesto. See how? Yeah. Really nice that color. It makes it is. pop. Yeah, and you can char it um, lightly or not. And I'll just put a few here. Just kind of pack it on just a little bit right here. Mm -hmm. All right, there we go. And then after that, I did some beautiful sauteed onions. Oh, chef. Didn't have to. And with the onions, is real simple. You just julienne the onions, cut them long. Put in a pan, a little olive oil, a little salt pepper. I do a little nutmeg. And then after it wilts a little bit, I'll hit it with some wine. So you can use any kind of wine you want. You could use red wine, white wine, preferably whatever wine that you might have left over. I don't know if you know this about me, Chef, but like two things I love in this world are mushroom and onions. Really? Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah. All right, so let's go ahead and put these beautiful mushrooms down just like this. How, look how beautiful that is. Mm -hmm. Let's cut them a little bit thinner. All right, look at this. So we'll just put that. Man, that, look, that looks just beautiful. Just like that. And the flatbreads are real easy. You know, the kids can even make their own flatbread um, to mm -hmm. what they could tailor to how they want it done. This is a good activity for when they come yeah, home from school. Yeah, what they want it to look like. And also, let's finish it up. I have some beautiful grilled charred onions. There if you go. can see, it's real easy to do. Mm -hmm. Just cut them up, a little olive oil, and we could just put some beautiful right here on the side, just like this. Mm -hmm. And then there we go. We have our first flatbread. And that is our vegetable flat bread. So again, we did the base with the pesto sauce. Um, again, you can find how you want to do your pesto sauce online. There's many, many recipes. For me, I like to do basil. I like to mix it with collard green, um, spinach, kale. Just mix it together with garlic. Um, Parmesan cheese, if you could do almonds or walnuts, and then at the end, put the uh, extra version olive oil in it, blend it up real nice and thick, and you have your, and hit it with a little lemon juice at the end. Mm -hmm. You have beautiful pesto sauce to put in your Ziploc bag <laughs> and keep it in your refrigerator, and you can spoon it on lots of different things. Okay, so the second one we're going to go to, we still have mushrooms, okay? Are you trying to get a sponsorship from Ziploc? <laughs> Come spokeswoman for Ziploc bags. You know what? Now I am. <laughs> All right, so we're going to move to the second one. We're going to do the chicken one on this. So the chicken one um, in chef term is called bechamel sauce. 
Um, in commercial term, it's called Alfredo sauce. <laughs> so the, it's just the cheese sauce, the Parmesan cheese yeah. sauce. Um, I will have to do a, a, an entire show on how to I make Alfredo sauce. a base Alfredo sauce, a bechamel I, it's sauce. It's my favorite. So I'm not going to go into that right now. And many people just purchase the Alfredo yeah. sauce. Um, I like to make mine because I know how to make it. <laughs> Send me the recipe. And it's so much better when you make it. So for the chicken one we are going to use a bechamel sauce um we could call it alfredo sauce because i did add the parmesan cheese to it um i left my blue cheese at home Uh oh yeah i just thought about that oh well it's one all of those right. days <laughs> one of those days yes all right so let's go ahead and you see i have the alfredo sauce and you could tell that i add pepper to my <laughs> Alfredo sauce and just put it on here. You can put on as much as you like, as little as you like. How it's long? It's yours. How long does the sauce usually take you to make? Uh, the sauces, the uh, bechamel sauce, probably would take about ten. Well, that's not 10, bad. 15 minutes um, from start to finish. Mm -hmm. All right, and so we have our Alfredo sauce on that one there, and then of course we're going to add what. The chicken. So the chicken here, we will pretty say, is grilled. Mm -hmm. um, I use paprika, garlic, salt, pepper on it. So it gives it like a little more smokier kind of texture on it. I love chicken too. Yes. And see how you can see the pepper? Yeah. I like to use the big um, grays of pepper. Mm -hmm. I don't like the fine little pepper. So let's just line the chicken up here and you can see the chicken, you can see the seasoning on it and everything that's there. All right, so to this one here, I want to do something a little bit different. Mm -hmm. On this one here, I want to add artichoke cards. Can I do that? Yeah, interesting. All right, and uh, if you have capers, that will go excellent on it yes um i love artichoke cards i'm a big fan of artichoke cards uh, a huge fan of artichoke cards actually actually we'll add it over to the side like this here that way you could just come and you could pick them up just like this see mm -hmm. how beautiful that is looks beautiful all right and then i have my onion I have my red onion. It's, I'm just showing you stuff that you could do. You can, you don't have to necessarily follow this exact recipe. This is just to basically give you ideas of what you can do with your flatbread. And like I said, if you have the kids, they can build their own flatbread at this point. Mm -hmm. um, they could probably.